Hello, I thought I'd come back and talk to you some more. This time I want to talk to you about the complex sentence now that we've dealt with the simple sentence. Yesterday we looked at the simple sentence and this is an example of one, although it does need a full stop on the end. We talked about how the simple sentence has two parts. It has a subject, in this case the dog, and it has a predicate, what the dog did, which is ran down the road. We have a capital at the start, we have a full stop at the end, we have a simple sentence and we went through them quite a bit recently. The complex sentence is different because it has an actual extra bit, a bit that isn't either, it's actually part of the predicate, but it's not subject and it's giving detail or it qualifies or adds detail to the predicate. So the subject is still the same, the subject is still my dog and my dog did something, it ran away, but it actually ran away last Tuesday. But because we've separated it out with a comma, that's actually a different clause. Now this clause cannot stand alone, you can hear that as a native English speaker, last Tuesday. And it's kind of, well last Tuesday what? So last Tuesday my dog did what? It ran away. So this cannot stand alone, this is a dependent clause. This bit can stand alone, my dog ran away. That's a sentence on its own, my dog, it ran away. So independent, sorry, dependent, independent. Now, the dependent clause is in a complex sentence. That's what makes it complex. It's got the independent bit which can stand alone and a dependent bit which needs, which adds detail to that. So that is an example of a complex sentence. Another one. Before I met Henry, he was a happy man. Now, the subject of this sentence is actually he. We understand that it's Henry, but in actual fact, he was a happy man is the bit that can stand alone. He is the subject. The predicate is, was a happy man. And the detail clause, the dependent clause, is before I met Henry. So I could take that away and I would still have a valid sentence with he was a happy man. But if I took away he was a happy man and just before I met Henry, then I in fact don't have Henry doing anything. I just have a condition or extra detail and that's not a sentence because this is what we're dealing with today. We're dealing with actual sentences. You can also have detail at the end. So in this one, Henry is now the subject. Henry was a happy man. Who was a happy man? Henry. The verb is was. Who was? Henry was. So I know it sounds like I'm talking in circles, but less than you think. So Henry is my subject. My predicate is he was a happy man. And my dependent clause, the bit I could cut out, before I met him. Because if I just had before I met him, that's not a sentence. That's a fragment of a sentence. It's a dependent clause. So it's a fancy name for actually something we use all the time. You just put on another little bit of information and that's a complex sentence. And that's basically it. So I hope that's useful and we'll be back soon with a compound sentence which is a little bit trickier.